I think I'm back. Is anyone still there? All right, had a little bit of a hiccup there. Not sure what that was. Uh, unfortunate. I think that it's going to split the video into two parts. So I don't know what you last missed. I hoped I caught that in time to uh, not skip out on too much. But I was just commenting on seeing some uh, yellow paint and wanting to go look at it. Oh. oh, this is the first time they've done that shit to me. I was talking about this the other day with my friend Jade that I don't feel like I can trust the uh, yellow paint because nobody ever ambushed me, but now the game. Oh, fuck. Now the game has the ambush for the yellow paint. The yellow paint always only appears in the light. Like so. And always points to supply caches. And until now, when you go get the supply cache, it's safe to get it and come back. Apparently, that is not the case here. But uh, anyway, what I was saying earlier, I think I lost connection sometime around there, was that they gave me a ton of of shotgun ammunition and no shotgun, which means I either miss the shotgun or they're going to give me one just up ahead. Oh, this is going to be great. Give me Half-Life 2 flashbacks here. This whole segment that takes place under a bridge. Although there are significant enough more. Oh! The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger. And it was taking over everything in its path. Significantly less far from us, And take it to the roof to eat me! about to say about the same, same thing to what as a teenager just started to get interested in writing Stephen uh, yeah. King had been a source of inspiration to me I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books no one is safe in a good horror story certainly not the protagonist that's what makes them fun this was anything but the darkness could possess anything and it was getting closer yeah, give me the heavy-duty flashlight. Uh, okay, I don't remember that many uh, Stephen King stories where objects come to life, but... Oh, that's definitely a boss arena. Or we are approaching one. Did you call 911? Now, show me your face. Yeah, that, I saw that coming. That was anything but. Not great. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. Give me the flashlight. Alright, you know what? We're gonna search the area first. Then we'll hit the button. Because we could just keep moving. That seems to be the cue most of the time, is they're telling you to keep moving.
more shotgun ammo. Now, I wonder. Did you call me? wasn't so bad this time. Ah, see, I couldn't have run anywhere because I had to wait for the gate. our existence for granted, unaware that they are merely a thin veneer of desperate self-delusion, covering a vast cosmos of madness and horror. All too often, the stars are right in Night Springs. Tonight's episode, A Family Occasion. Journalist Alvin Durlis' trip to study the local customs of an insular community in Night Springs has been less than successful until tonight. Is, are they gonna get eaten? Well, I'm dinner? glad to change your minds about this. Ancient customs, local mythology. My editor loves this kind of stuff. I do kind of like control Mr. Durlis, we don't want to feel like we're on exhibition. But you have demonstrated the seriousness of your intent. Oh, I am serious. Really, just do your thing. I'll stay out of your way and observe. Actually, I thought you could assist us. I'm afraid we are a man short. It would provide you with an intimate perspective. Could I really? Of course, Mr. Durlis. Well, I guess that's the least I... What would I have to do? Oh, here. Let me show you with a kiss. I, um, I... Okay, <laughs> so they're not eating him for dinner. Or maybe they are. Oh, Mr. Jones, you have well pleased Nixie Perka, the dweller in flesh. The body shall host his thousand young, and I shall be glory. Shh, darling, be calm. Shh. Alvin Durlitz learned a harsh lesson. Kind of cheesy. I like it. Okay, this is a boss. Man. Look at this. Find a vehicle. Yeah, I bet you the vehicle's gonna fucking attack me. I was not wrong. about that. Fuck you, game.
come on, again? <sighs> I don't like this. Fuck all of you. Those are not on. Did I find a vehicle? <sighs> I had never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. wasn't far now. <sighs> Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Okay, let's see if there's anything back this way first. Oh, we gotta run down here, Mr. Wake! Okay, how'd you fucking drive up here? The bridge is out. Did you, like, drive across the bridge collapsed as you drove across it? That's Even during daytime, I was being stalked. The bridge must have collapsed only moments after I'd crossed it. Oh, there we go. They, they thought of people coming back here and looking at that. All right, well, like I said, I've got about a uh, hard stop in about 45 minutes. So let's see if we can finish this episode. Interesting. Get in to drive it on this side. Whatever. All right, Mr. Wake, you do by little without realizing it. I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the dark presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real, but it matched a textbook case of insanity. Yeah, it kind of does, dude. Uh, 
you kind of it kind of feels like you're going through a slow descent into madness. Fuck it, let's change cars. Why is there a tire on the hood? Hell if I know. Wow, the, uh, anytime you have a driving part in an otherwise non-driving game, you know it's going to be terrible. I saw something over here that was interesting. What is it? Who the hell dragged an upholstered chair out here? Do I have to really drive all that way? Come on, I don't want to. I don't want to drive. Ah, <sighs> I hate these driving controls. I really need to just buy a controller for shit like this because controllers do have some advantages, and one of those is sensitivity controls. Because this, it's a hard right or hard left, and not much else. I wonder if I can do this. I'm almost tempted to try, but I don't feel like walking all this distance. I mean, that's my first instinct. When you give me a physics engine, my first instinct is how can I break it? I won. Okay, looks like I can focus the headlights. If GTA has taught me anything, it's when your car is emitting heavy smoke, it's time for a new car. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. Yeah, that's one you word see, for it. I encountered a big shot G Man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not necessarily in that order either. Now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here. And I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now. Because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. And I'm just glad that our Sheriff yeah. Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. Nobody cares about me. Ain't even got a friend. I could just listen to country. But we're going to move on. Oh, whoa. Come on now, I didn't even do anything that time. Then, uh, each, each car you're getting gets progressively worse to drive. And it is, I'm convinced this is entirely a controls issue and not a racing a simulation issue. Because I'm not sure this actually really simulates the simulation for vehicles is all that detailed. I am pretty sure that the traction is the same on or off the road. We can change cars again. Checkpoint reached. Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Well, see, to me, that's strange, because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. But I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you I'm guessing that's where that I'm going. Chance, it's gone forever and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or heck, childish even? Hey, there's plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah. <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything. But 
What you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but I can't really fit that together with what I feel. I don't see what this has to do with the plot, so we're going to keep moving. Unless, you know, the other writer's name was Tom Zane. Pat Bane, they kind of ride. I don't stretch, but... Oh, fuck it. Let's go check this out. This looks like a great idea, even though I could just take the car down and keep going. What's over here? This feels like a place to put a secret. Or a good way to fall. Ha! Back down we go. supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. This is gonna go well, folks. Cool. That feels like that's way too detailed for it not to be an area where I'm gonna end up walking through soon. I didn't want to go outside. The cops had to be looking for me. The new sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. He was supposed to show up it at was noon. A waste of time. Never showed up. The bastard never showed up. Wake! Where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello? Ah! I'm going to kill him. I had to get to Mirror Peak. Okay. Maybe closer than ever before. Jump in what? Oh! Uh. <clears throat> Red marks the spot. Well, I'm guessing, maybe. Shotgun ammo. Last time I never found a shotgun. I could have used one. Oh no, that's still the same thing. Caution! Got an achievement for picking up 23 <coughs> thermoses. Oh fuck! <gasps> Ow! Oh, 
Oh, this is gonna go great. Pick up all the stuff. Do I still have a revolver? I do. Beautiful. Kisser. Ow! Oh, fuck! side ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. Which means following the power lines, folks. So let's go see what horrors they have in store for me. Oh, that's a lot of people. Luckily, this is a fight I can manage. I think. Try to circle around behind me. I'm distracted. Fuck. Reload. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Now we gotta cross all that again. And I have no bullets and a flare gun, so this is going to get fun. What was that? Woo! Keep moving, Alan. Okay, good to know those. Oh, fuck! What the fuck? 